pretty cool, right? You can watch videos, you can see pictures, and you can even play games on your TV using your smartphone, Android smartphone. And it's pretty easy too. So, let's hop into it. Hey, what's up? Thank you for watching this video, and I'm Riz, and I'll show you how to screen mirror your Android to a Samsung TV. And the TV is not Android, so it's gonna be pretty simple and cool, so stay tuned. Alright, so this, the first thing you wanna do is to make sure you are running the latest Android systems. It doesn't have to be the latest, latest Android system, it just have to be just updated, okay? Well, in this case, I have no idea what I'm running, but it's also it's pretty updated. Okay. Go to, go to settings, and by the way, now you need to have a Wi-Fi connection, or if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, you can also use your personal hotspot. Now I'll show you exactly how to do that too, but it's gonna cost you data, and uh, you might need to, it might it might it might be costly for you, depending on where you live. So if you go to the connections, and you can see the personal hotspot, and uh, you know that that's the hotspot. Once you turn it on, you can literally connect any device using your phone okay so that's an option too but that's not gonna happen i'm not gonna do this but i'm just saying there's an option too okay but in this case we'll be using a uh, wi-fi because i mean literally there's no house with without wi-fi i mean obviously but if, still if you don't have a wi-fi connection you can also use a mobile data okay so turn on the wi-fi and make sure you that the wi-fi you're using is exactly the same wi-fi network your tv is gonna get connected to i'll show you that in a moment but Right now, I'll just connect my phone to my Wi-Fi network, and there you go, it's connected. Now, you don't have to do anything else, just put your phone down and let's let's just move to the television. We'll just do some, uh, you know, quick work on your TV, and then we'll just move on to the phone. Okay, so this is Samsung's TV, I don't even remember the model, it's a, it's a pretty old one, it's not an Android or anything, okay, it's pretty simple, but it has Wi-Fi, so. Okay, so go to the menu of your Samsung TV, and just go to the network settings. Now, I've done this before, so it might look different for me, but in your case, what you want to do is just go to the network settings and just find your Wi-Fi and just enter the password, password, whatever you like, and just just get connected. So, I have done this before, so what I'm going to do is just go to this main menu, and if you have done this again, I'm going to show you something. Go to network and go to the network status. That, that way, you can also disconnect your internet too. So, in this case, mine is connected to the internet. I don't have to do anything else, and that's pretty much it. So... Now what you want to do is just find the uh, settings for screen mirroring. Now, two things. You can also find your screen mirror settings in your main menu in the network settings right there. Okay, that's simple, right? But you can also do that much simpler. It's pretty simple. Now what you want to do is press the source button on the top right corner of your remote control and bring out all the connections you have. So for example, I have HDMI 1 and at there, there you go. There you see the screen mirroring. Just click on it. It will pop up the menu and it will automatically prompt your phone to do connected to. Now I'll show you exactly how to do it on your phone too, so just give me a moment. Now you don't have to do anything else from this moment on your TV, just leave it at that, okay? Alright, so now, as I said before, you need to have your phone connected to the exactly same Wi-Fi network, okay? So I've done that before in the previous clip, so I'll just go right into the uh, connection part. So unlock your phone, obviously. And now what you want to do is go to the uh, settings. It's pretty easy. Just drop down the control settings and just click on top right corner. I mean, I mean I've been using uh, Apple iPhones for as long as I remember, so it's pretty hard for me to control the Android. Well, it's pretty simple too. Now, into the settings, go to the connected devices. Now, here is a tricky part. This might not look exactly like your Android phone. So if you have any questions, drop in the comment section below. I'll I'll answer all of them, okay? It doesn't have to be, uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're running an old Android phone, that's, it's okay, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Now, go to the connected devices and you'll see the uh, cost option in there. Don't, don't go into the Bluetooth or anything, just click onto the cost option. Now, it's, it won't show you uh, the TV right away, but if you click on the top right corner, settings button, and enable the wire wireless display, it would automatically pop up my Samsung TV in the background. Now, depending how fast your connection is, it'll take a few minutes for you, or maybe if, depending how far the TV is. Once you click on it, it will automatically connect your phone to your TV. Voila! In the back, it's working, right? Pretty simple, and yet, pretty cool. 
So you don't have to use a remote control or even just, you know, maybe using HDMI cable to connect your phone to your TV to watch movies because or anything you like. And that's pretty much it. So, I mean, you can you can pretty much do anything, like, literally. You can play games, you can watch your videos, you can even see pictures, WhatsApp, well, Messenger, anything you like. And you can do that on your big TV. Isn't that cool? Well, if, uh, if you find this video helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. And be careful, stay safe, and stay clean. Thank you for watching, boys, and uh, peace out.